In this video, we're going to discuss how to set up a new loan using the Loan Manager. So first thing first, I want to go up under Banking and go to Loan Manager. All right, and it pulls up for me the Loan Manager set up here. I can go straight into Add a Loan, but before I do that, I just want to touch on that they do have this What If Scenarios thing down here button. And when I click on it, it pulls up. I can evaluate this loan ahead of time to see if I borrow $36,000 and the term is 36 months and the payment amount is $505 a month and the interest rate is 5.5% and the next payment date is going to be January 15th and calculate. So it's going to calculate for me my total interest that is due every month or at the at the end of the loan. My total interest that is due. All my total payments are going to come out to $40,000 and also then my balloon payment. The other thing that you can do too is you can evaluate two loans next to each other so you can run and see which one's your best option. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and say cancel here. And I'm going to go ahead and add a new loan. So the first screen is going to pop up. It says, what account do you want to put this loan against? So it's talking about which account in your chart of account. So I haven't set that up yet, nor have I set up the lender yet. So it tells me I need to go do those first. So I'm going to say cancel. I'm going to go into my chart of accounts. I'm going to go down to my account information here and say select a new account. Once here, I'm going to choose it as a long-term liability, or you can do it as a loan too. All right, but we're going to choose long-term liability. And it's going to be new car loan, and the sub-account is going to be under loans. And I'm going to put the description in there. If I want to put the account number in there, I can do that and say save and close. And I also need to create the new vendor. If it's a new vendor, I'm going to say it is Car Company USA. And I'm just going to skip all this extra information for now because I really don't want to waste the time on filling this in. You can see that in another video. All right, so I'm going to go back to the loan manager again. Say add a loan. Okay, so the account name is going to be Oh, you know what? I've got to close out of this for it to pick up the changes I just made. So close out of it, go to Banking, Loan Manager, pull it up again, add a loan. Now it sees new car loan. Okay. Also pull up the vendor. Oops, I chose the wrong one, new car loan. Pull up the lender here. So I want to choose Car Company USA. The origination date is going to be December 21st. The original amount, let's say it's $25,000, and the term is 36 months. Next, the due date of the next payment is going to be on the 28th. The payment amount, so how much am I going to be paying off on this monthly? Say $1,000. If the next payment number, if this was actually payment number three, then you can add that in here. Um, but if it's payment number one, you just want to leave that there. So you can enter this after the fact. It doesn't have to be, just be in the beginning of the loan. So the payment period is monthly. Does it have escrow? No. And then do I want an alert 10 days before it's due? I really don't need that. So then next, what is my interest rate? Let's say 2% monthly. Or you can do it exact days, 365 or 365 or 60. We're going to go ahead and say, well, we'll say exact days. The payment account, where do I pay it out of? The checking account. Which expense account does the interest hit? I'm going to scroll on down here. Let's see. Do I have interest? I guess I don't have interest set up in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose. Oh, there it is. Interest expense. And then the, any fees that are charged, which account do you want them to hit? So bank service charges. And I say finish. 
So now you can see here it has the new loan in there for me. I can go ahead and look at the payment schedule, uh, which, which it'll have set up there once I save this. I can also um, print this information out. So if I say print, um, print it to here. Okay, save. I'm going to look at the loan manager here. So it prints out all the information that I just had. Whoops, what is that? Opened up the wrong thing there. Prints out all the information so I can keep it with the loan. Okay, and then let's go back into QuickBooks here and say close. All right, if I go back onto my loan manager here, load it up, I can look at, um, if I wanted to, I can go ahead and edit my loan details. I can remove the loan. Um, but what will happen is that it, on the next payment, it'll make sure and come up with the schedule. Right now, it's set up as zero because it's saying, you don't have any money in that account. It might be a $24,000 loan, but there's no money that hit that account. So what we have to do is we have to go into our chart of accounts here. All right. And we have to create the journal entry to say that we have received this vehicle. Okay, so I'm gonna, there's several ways you can do this, but I'm just gonna do it straight here into, uh, on the register. So I'm gonna say we're increasing our loan by $25,000, and it's gonna go to my vehicle's fixed asset account. Okay. So now, when I go back to my loan manager, all right, it says confirm loan information. Next payment date is 1228 of $1,000. Okay, I look at my payment schedule. Now it's picked up. It's saying, oh, there's the balance that I needed. Picked up the payment schedule. All the information is here, all of the amortization, all the way down to $0. So when you enter the first bill, when the first bill is entered, $958.90 is going to go towards the principal and $41.10 is going to go against interest, okay? So that is how you set up a loan using Loan Manager.